If you've never cut a pineapple before, this is your pineapple cutting lesson. So here's the fresh pineapple. I'm gonna cut off its butt. I'm not really good at cutting off the pineapple butt. Oh shit, you know what, I forgot. The garbage bag. After cutting off the bottom of the pineapple, you can put the pineapple upright. That's the best part about cutting the pineapple this way. It makes it really easy for you to hold the stem or the leaves of the pineapple so that you can turn the pineapple and just cut straight down. This makes it so much easier. It looks like it might be a little fermented here. this one side because it's a little bit clear yeah is that like the sign it is right it's like a little orangey and clear yeah yeah The reason the bread knife makes it easier to cut the pineapple is because of that serrated edge. It grabs the pineapple skin and makes it really easy to just um, move the knife back and forth and slice right through. The other types of knives, if they're not sharp, you can actually end up slipping. And when the pineapple slips and the knife slips, you're putting yourself in danger of cutting yourself. So um, this part after you've cut off all of the skin or the outside of the pineapple i'm just cutting off any parts that look too fermented i'm cutting off any of the eyes of the pineapple that seem to be still on the fruit At this point, you can cut your pineapple into whatever size slices you want the pineapple to be in. In this case, I was going to use a lot of the pineapple for smoothie, so I'm cutting the pineapple into more smaller pieces. And also notice there is a core in the pineapple, and the core is generally tougher to eat. It's generally tougher just to chew, um, depending on how ripe your pineapple is. I always just cut the core out. Also make sure you taste the pineapple to make sure that the pineapple is good and it, it, it is indeed not fermented. Now the reason why I was so concerned about the pineapple being fermented is that um, here in this location in Mexico, Sayulita, the pineapples can ripen really, really quickly and when they start to have an alcoholic sort of smell to them and when they kind of go clear, that's when the pineapples have over ripened. So notice I cut off the whole top of the pineapple. If you're somewhere where you can plant and grow tropical fruit, you could actually put that part of the pineapple into dirt and start growing a baby pineapple. And if you do decide to propagate a pineapple, keep in mind that it does take about 18 months to two years for that to grow. thinking I'm just going to take some of this right now and freeze it. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then plan on eating. When I learned this method of cutting pineapple, I never went back to any other way of cutting it. So if you're cutting it a different way and you're wasting the top by cutting it off first, don't do that. Do this instead. It'll save you time and it'll save you all of the um, arduous work that it usually takes to cut a pineapple up if you're not doing this already.